Hello, I'm Atuba George. So, so blessed to bring you God's truth. And today is Friday. Praise God. Listen, after today, take this weekend, go through this message. If you've not subscribed to our channel, go on and subscribe. Get every message that, that we've talked about. You know, just go through them. This is what you should spend your data on. See, it's, it's important because everything that will make you grow in the knowledge of Him is what you need. Because that's where life is. That's how growth um, come about. Not, not, not any other way. Not, not by how much you're making right now. No, the fact that you're making more money right now doesn't mean you're rich. No, you are not. One problem can come and sweep everything away. Oh, of course, you know that's true. But when you know him, he will make you rich. It's the truth. See? That's his job. That's his job. <laughs> Praise. He, he might imagine Peter being with Jesus. He had no money. And then tax collectors came. What happened? If Peter was alone, he would have started arguing with them. No, do you think I don't know my rights? I know my rights. I'm a citizen. Oh, no, no, no. But what did Jesus say? Peter, you know what? Let's not offend them. Take your hook, go to the sea. Just like that. Oh, yeah, just like that. That's how those who know him, you know, that's why Daniel said, for the people who know their God shall be strong and they shall do what? Exploits. So left for you. You want to do exploits? There is no other way. It's in the knowledge of him. Praise God. Now, you know, uh, we, we read Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 17. It says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom. It is God that gives the spirit of wisdom. He gives it. And revelation in what in the knowledge of him look at it in the knowledge of him that's what you need you don't know Jesus by reading you don't know him that way I said really oh yeah true does it mean we should not read no no it's important you read but I'm telling you the truth when you pick up those books or even the Bible to read Look for him in there. He that seeketh shall find. Question then is, what are you seeking? You can carry the Bible and I'm seeking for divine health. You're not seeking him. I'm seeking for prosperity. Doesn't mean you're seeking him. But when you take it, say, I'm seeking for Jesus. I want to know what he thinks about my divine health. I want to know what he thinks about the situation that I find myself in. So I'm seeking him. Now, when you do that, Guess what? Then he's, he's going to show up in your life. And then the moment he begins to tell you about himself, the grace for that thing is multiplied to you. That's how it works. Let me show you. You know, Second Peter, we dwelt on this earlier, but there's something, you know, like I told you, is it yesterday? You know, sometimes you're done and then the Lord says, hey, let me show you something that you didn't look at. Now look at this. 2 Peter chapter, four, chapter 1, verse 4. Look at this. It says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Now look at what it says next in verse 5. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Now, next week, I'm going to take this and expand it. But I'm going to say something to you today. Peter was talking about the knowledge of God. How important, you know, everything is through the knowledge of God. Because, see, now he, he goes on here and says, Beside the giving of the act to your faith virtue. And then he goes to say, add, 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 add. Now, verse 8, look at what he said in verse 8, 2 Peter chapter 1. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's important is for me to grow in the knowledge of Jesus, right? Now, he just says, add, 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 add. Then he says, if all these things are in you and abound, meaning in an increasing measure, they make you oh so the process of you adding these things in your life they make you that you will not not be barren nor be on 
what, what is it? Neither be barren nor unfruitful. You will not be unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, okay, I think I need to know what he's talking about then. I don't want to be barren in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want to be unfruitful. You know what it is to be unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ? The word of God may come to you, but you don't know how to apply it. See, there are people like that. Lots of, they, you think they have knowledge, but you don't see it working in their lives. They don't have that knowledge. They read about it. See, they are actually unfruitful in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So next week, we're going to be talking about these things that will help you to be fruitful and to be, not to be barren, see, in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. God doesn't want you to be barren in, where, where, where his knowledge is concerned. If you're barren, your life will not be a good testimony for him. And that's why he is bringing his words to you. Praise God. Listen, take out time this weekend. If you need to fast and pray, even if it's one day, say, Lord, I want to know you. And take these scriptures that I've shared with you and go to him and say, Lord, I just want to know you. He is the only one that can teach you about him. No man can do it. I can't even do it. I can only share with you my testimony. This is what the Lord has taught me. Now, it's your job to go to him and let him open up himself to you. And then you will understand what life is. You will understand what eternal life is. I pray for you today. That even as you seek the Lord, he will be found. You, you will find him. And as you seek him, he will make himself known to you. And you will grow and be able to eat strong meat from him. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In any way you lack anything, I pray that a supply be made available to you right now. Let miracle doors open for you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive that which you desire of him. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Until next week, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.